On this week's boiler tip, we're going to look at one reason that we might not attain proper temperature on our deaerator. Um, and the key, one of the key components of a deaerator is the spray nozzle, if it's a spray type deaerator. So when our incoming water comes into the deaerator, it has to be sprayed. Um, because when we think about heat exchangers, what's the difference between a little heat exchanger and a big heat exchanger? And the answer is surface area. We have a bigger heat exchanger, so that we, get, we have more surface area to transfer heat. And, and really that's the role of the spray nozzle in a deaerator. By spraying the water in and sheeting it, or trickling it through trays, what we're doing is we're increasing that surface area of the water. And what that does is gives us more area for contact between the steam and the water. So a problem that we sometimes encounter is a malfunction of that spray nozzle. Um, when we have the opportunity to take our deaerator down, which might not be that often in some cases, um, in some cases it may be any weekend, um, it's good to inspect that. These deaerators have a spray nozzle attached to a plate um, on the incoming feed water. So if we break this flange and we break a union, we can lift that piping off and inspect that spray nozzle. A common issue is that spring will deteriorate over time uh, and it will break. And essentially if that spray nozzle's hanging down, if we're not sheeting that water as it comes in, then we're not gonna get the surface area, we're not gonna get the heat exchange. If you think about it, it's kind of like, if we take a jug of water and we turn it upside down, that water glugs out. So very limited surface area, very little time or space for interaction. If we spray that in, every droplet is surrounded by steam. So we're heating it quickly. Um, some symptoms of a bad spray nozzle, one can be a hammer. So if we have a deaerator of multiple spray nozzles, if one fails, it usually results in rapid failure of the rest because that spray nozzle also works like a check valve um, when the water pressure cuts off because the feed valve's throttling shut, it should close. And that prevents steam from backing into the feed water piping. If it does, we can get hammer as soon as that feed water shuts off because steam begins to infiltrate that space with the colder water in there. And we'll also often get hammer when the feed water cuts back on to the deaerator because we're pushing water into that piping that could be flooded with steam. And if we've got multiple spray nozzles, the first one that fails often causes that hammer and then that'll rapidly degrade or break those other springs and spray nozzles in there. So I know a deaerator, we don't always get a chance to take it down, but when we do, we wanna inspect that because that's a significant issue for deaeration. We'll have pressure but we won't have temperature because the water coming in is not getting heated up and we'll have plenty of pressure because if the steam's not heating up the incoming water, it's easy to sustain that pressure. So we just want to look for yeah. um, proper condition of those and, and put that on our PM list if we get the opportunity to take it down.